Good morning, everyone. Dr. Vicki here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is Saturday, July 15th. Can you believe July is like almost half over? That's crazy. The moon is in uh, Gemini as we stand here and shifts into Cancer at around, I think, 1.18 p.m. on the East Coast of the U.S. So this afternoon, uh, and of course, as the moon moves into Cancer, it gets closer to the new moon in Cancer. Uh, we do have a uh, in conjunct today between Neptune and Venus. Venus, the planet of love. Neptune, the higher octave of Venus. So they, they have a tendency to get along, Venus and Neptune. Um, however, Neptune, as we know from all our meanderings in the garden, <laughs> Neptune can obfuscate a little bit, Nep Neptune can confuse, and Neptune can idealize. And so we have to be careful of idealizing uh, certain relationships, perhaps, certain people, certain situations. Um, but there is a still a, a, a doubt as to whether we're uh, on the right track. And uh, I think it's a, a healthy doubt because uh, it is difficult to see things clearly. Now, this Venus in conjunct Neptune is actually part of a yod that includes um, Pluto as well. We will have Pluto in conjunct Venus over the next few days, and um, we will definitely, uh, we're definitely feeling that. A yod is uh, also called the Fingal fickle finger of fate it's called uh, a, a faded or a destiny uh, aspect if you have one in your chart it doesn't always feel like destiny it just feels like you never quite get it right <laughs> eventually you do though um, Venus is what we value Venus is what's important to us Venus right now is in Leo and um, She's about to go retrograde. She's going to go retrograde on the 22nd of July, so next week. Uh, and so she's kind of in the crosshairs of both Pluto, the planet associated with death and rebirth and transformation. Um, also, Pluto can be very controlling, and Pluto is power, especially in Capricorn and Venus in, um, and it's very interesting because uh, yesterday, I think it was yesterday or the day before, the Screen, Screen Actors Guild went on strike to support the Writers Guild. Um, and that's a very, you know, Venus uh, in, the, in, a, um, in a yode. And of course, Neptune is uh, an energy of, um, unity in a way socialism uh, together the the power of us together so we can see that being expressed as well now uh venus is in this yod know, for a while and then of course venus goes retrograde venus can rule entertainment and so i don't know how soon they're gonna uh, get get it might take the whole time of venus uh while venus is retrograde and then goes direct hi charlie coming out from under his bush there. Um, so it'll be interesting to see uh, what happens. And of course, Venus is not just relationships. It's also our culture and it's also our money. So um, very, very, uh, so, so, we're, so we're actually stronger together. So even if it's harder to hold your ground because, and it's going to be hard for some people because not everybody, ha you know, starting with money. I mean, I imagine acting is not the most, uh, it's not the easiest profession to have when it comes to wanting guarantees about money or around money, right? Oh, can you see that? It's a uh, hum hummingbird at the hummingbird feeder. I'm going to stop talking so you guys can see it. Don't scare her. It's a little girl. Hi, little girl. Um, so, yeah, so we can see that. That's, that's happening. 
Um, yeah, so be careful about making decisions and commitments, whether they be romantic or financial, uh, until things clear up a bit. Um, but other than that, um, I think it's a pretty going to be a pretty nice day. We're in the dark of the moon. And if you feel like we're on the edge of something big, it's because, guess what? We're on the edge of something big. Not only do we have a new moon coming up, but we also have a shift in the nodes. And that's always big because the nodes determine the direction of our evolution. We're moving out of the north node in Taurus into the north node in Aries. Moving out of the south node in Scorpio into the south node in Libra. And Pluto, of course, is square those nodes. And as is the new moon coming up um, in, uh, in two days. So uh, big evolutionary shifts. I know you can feel them. I know you can see them. You can see. Just look and see how uh, the world is shifting and changing. And the power dynamics. And... Those who maybe had no power are starting to have power, and those who had all the power are having to learn how to share the power. So, um, but ultimately, guys, it's power for the people, and um, those who don't like that are going to try to distract us with mumbo jumbo. And uh, let's not take in the mumbo jumbo. All right, guys, I am going to. Uh, go inside and uh, let's see is anything blue we're in, we're in this in the garden right now we're in this place of it's between uh, when things are like blooming and then we take a little rest and then things start to bloom again so we do have some big blooms going to be coming up soon but here is uh, these beautifuls of course that somebody asked if that's a Stelladora it's actually not a Stelladora um, the Stelladoras are a little smaller I'm not exactly sure what this is but it is beautiful. And of course, our favorite Detroit, uh, <laughs> Detroit Red Wings, as I like to call them now. All right. I have no idea if that's what they're called, but that's what I'm calling them. And there's the globe thistle. That's starting to bloom a little bit more. Yeah. So we had a lot of rain today so far. I think it's going to be rain on and off this weekend. But now the sun is out and it's getting a little steamy. But luckily, we have a little bit of a uh, breeze, and that's always helpful in the summer, eh? And a blue sky is coming our way. All right, guys, have a great day. Oh, check out uh, Moon Shadows. With, uh, me and Ona did a Moon Shadows on my, on my channel. You can check that out. And the week ahead, it's pretty long, but I talk about all the stuff happening this week, uh, including the shift in the nodes, Venus retrograde, all kinds of stuff. That's why it's so long. So uh, enjoy, and I will see you again uh, tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Namaste.